and to set up this for now we have two AWS accounts okay so on the account A we have S3 bucket and we will create one IMA role here and that this S3 bucket we will access from the account B which is we have different AWS accounts okay this situation will when we have application in account B and our S3 bucket might be in the different account in that situation we can use this cross account feature so let's see the uh, configuration basically so I have collected this uh, policy so there was uh, just minor uh, missing uh, we have done basically so I just tested yesterday so we can use this kind of this kind of let me explain you on this okay so what we can do is we can create one IMA user roles here so in account A which is you know we have we will create this one uh, this role let me give the another name let's say prod okay and just click on role you need to select this one here okay because we are going to uh, give the access for the another account okay so this uh, this uh, supports to have access from <coughs> different regular accounts so after selecting these options just scroll down here it will ask like uh, this account or another account so just click on another account and we have uh, another account which which is account id is different okay this account id we will get uh, from here if you just click on this your username you will get from there here account id okay you can just simply copy it so i have <coughs> two aws account now one i log in here and another one i log in in incognito mode okay and i just copied the this account id here and you can just paste okay account b basically you can consider and just click on next yesterday i have i have already created the policy so let me explain you that you can just select the policy and simply click next to attach and you can give the role name this one and just click on create role just search the role name okay so we have this role now so if just click on that role so we can see the policy let, let me expand it it's so basically um, the policies I <coughs> suppose let's say I have user so I can just list out the all the buckets okay but I can perform this action like put object get object or delete object only these operations I can perform only this bucket okay I will not perform on the all S3 bucket I just re restricted to only particular bucket which is uh, we have AWS Guruji okay if you have in the real time different bucket you just need to replace the bucket name only okay what is the meaning of star is basically this uh, ARN will allow for the bucket level and the star is basically slash star is it will allow to access all the objects inside the bucket you can perform these operations get put delete and you can also add uh, other permissions like delete bucket create bucket or something you just need to just click on edit and simply give the comma this way and this way you can just add the permissions okay so policy is very simple so just now so now we have created the roles here okay we have in the account uh, a now we have s3 bucket this one and we have some data here okay and now let's go to the account b okay which uh, doesn't have any s3 bucket this one okay let me refresh here okay account a to access the s3 bucket just simply click on your username okay you will find the switch role option here okay as of now you can see there are no uh, any s3 bucket so let, let me switch here switch role and here we need to enter the all the details which uh, where is the s3 bucket uh, you know created basically hosted so let's uh, go to that account okay i have collected the, this information for the account a okay so you can just get this 
account a account id okay and simply key uh, enter here account id role which we have created let's go to the account a okay this uh, role we have created we can just simply copy this role name and go to account b where uh, from where we want to access okay and just give the role name here and simply click on switch role so you can see here we have successfully switched to uh, account a s3 bucket uh, okay service and you will see uh, here you know the role name basically and your account id and as of now as of now you can see we have access to the s3 bucket which is hosted in the account a so you can perform the operations whatever the you have permissions basically as of now we have just grant the access for the single bucket okay not for the all bucket so in the, in the real time you you should uh, configure the same way because giving the all s3 bucket access it's way not feasible basic, basically for the security risk so now let me try to upload the files either you can upload single file so or multiple file okay just clicking this way and just select and upload so this way we can just find uh, perform the operations and you to download the files for any single file okay you can just simply click on that and you can just simply click on this <clears throat> download okay now let me try to access another bucket which we doesn't have permissions it should give the error like you no know, access denied let me try to access this this bucket and let me upload the files just select this files and try to upload okay it should give the error basically yeah you can see so it's basically access denied so this way for the best security practices we can just grant only single bucket access by using this policy and if you want to go back to your normal your account original account just click on this switch back so you can just simply bring back to your original account yeah as of now you can see there are no s3 bucket okay so this way you can configure another account s3 bucket 